cow overflows. Walking a few steps with an awakened one is blessing. When you walk a few steps with an awakened one, that is a blessing. Remember these few steps that you have walked with me. One day will fill your life with a new fragrance from the unknown garden. The moment someone comes in your life, really a new channel of energy flows within or a new channel of energy flow opens. If your energy is condensed, then your energy flows towards the other person whom you are including in your life. Energy flows, energy flow always follow the process of osmosis. Osmosis is the technique when energy flows from concentrated to the dilute one and the process continues until the two energies come at the same level. The essence of an awakened one is total awakening in whatsoever one does. Total awareness is the axle around which entire life or each act revolves. Life is unique journey. Along the journey many times you include any another person in your life as a friend, a spouse or any other role. This is your choice. However, you have to analyze. Are you ready or capable for this? The moment you include another person in your life, irrespective of the role or the capacity, you share energy. Both share with one another their energies. The moment someone comes in your life, really a new channel of energy flow opens. If your energy is concentrated, condensed, your energy flows towards the other person whom you are including in your life. Energy flow always follows the process of osmosis. And the process continues until the two energies come at the same level. In this process, one is donor, the other is the receiver. The one who is donor, he should be capable to generate the energy within, conserve and then share. Generation, conservation and sharing are three process in most of the cases each one of us is a receiver of energy and when you come within the energy field of an out of one who is connected to unfathomable source of energy not only that is capable of conserving the energy within as well. Only such a person can share his energy through his mere presence, message or relating without loss of energy within him. He has enough energy for his physical, emotional, and intellectual needs, etc. He has enough energy for his physical, emotional, intellectual functions and he still has enough 
energy to share. He has developed a double arrowed consciousness. One end of the cable is connected to the energy supply while the other end is connected to the consumption that is sharing. He can simultaneously conserve the energy and share it. He simultaneously generates, conserves and goes on sharing his energy. It is like one who has enough money in his wallet to share. And at the same time, while sharing, he is earning and saving as well. An awakened one follows the same principle and goes on sharing his energy where it is needed. I have known and lived in the company of such reservoir of unfathomable energy. As an ordinary person, through such interaction, you create new patterns of karma. As an ordinary person, through such interaction, you create new patterns of karma because you are not yet aware. The moment one is aware, he transcends the karma. An awakened one is beyond the karmic patterns. He can interact with anyone or at any level. He is not attached. Even if he is interacting with you at any level, he is totally detached. He lives at the level of consciousness. The plane of consciousness is his permanent abode or resting place. You have known to live in dictionary meaning of the life and the words. This is the known realm. You know nothing about the realm of Buddhas. He is, his is the realm beyond the known. An awakened one, our Buddha lives in the realm beyond the known. For instance, you know the dictionary meaning of the word nonsense. Right? Dictionary gives the meaning of the word nonsense as rubbish, garbage and gibberish. You know not the beauty of this word. Awakened one goes, knows the essence of the word. Awakened one goes to the essence of this word, explores the essence from deep within. For this, he has to do a plastic surgery. To him, this word comes from two separate words, non and the other sense. Ordinarily, you join unconsciously to read the meaning I state below mind. Awakened one has looked into its essence. He hyphenate, hyphenates the two separate words, the non and sense. How does he hyphenate? is important. Now after Buddha surgery, it reads as non-sense, meaning changes totally. Now it refers to a state beyond the mind. Sense comes from the mind. Mind makes sense. And when you are beyond the mind, there is it creates a state beyond the mind. 
the state beyond the mind is non hyphen sense not one word as nonsense as it is given in the dictionary where it means garbage rubbish gibberish first which is the dictionary meaning of the word nonsense is below the mind and the second where the word non and sense are hyphenated by a dash by a hyphen as it is known as in english grammar the meaning changes and it is above the mind such is the way of buddhas such is the way of awakened ones walking along with him you resist and react to but a few steps that you have walked with him in harmony or disharmony at times you are in harmony with him when you understand and when you do not you are in disharmony with it because there are two states of operation one is the state of inner silence the other is the state of inner conflict and confusion and so a awakened one operates through his inner silence words emerge out of the silence and they are received when they are received by a mind who is characterized by inner conflict chaos and lack of harmony there comes confusion so you may walk with him in harmony or disharmony but one day this association will blossom like myriad flowers blossom in the season of his spring it does not matter you are in harmony with him or not whether you agree or not his compassion is beyond all that you have known up to now you have known this word compassion in your own way his compassion is beyond all that you have known up to now therefore these few steps that you have walked with me will one day fill your life with a new fragrance from the unknown garden remember therefore these few steps that you have walked with me will one day fill your life with a new fragrance from the unknown garden and of me